James here from Dragon Blogger. Today with a little unboxing of a new product from GIM. This is their new fan pack. This is their CFP 20s. This is a triple pack of 120 millimeter fans. It does come in three, uh, three fan case covers, colors, black, white, and pink. This is the white set. It is a fully RGB fan. Um, it does come with uh, removable strips to go around it. I'll show you more of that. On the side, it says it is uh, 1500 RPMs with a 56 CFM, uh, uh, you know, CFM blow through. Uh, it's a hydro bearing. It does say PMW SATA, so we will figure that out when we get into the install video. It is a 12 volt, but it says a 2.4 uh, watt uh, draw, which shouldn't be that much. Um, they are six pen, so you have to use the hub. They won't work on your fan hubs on your motherboard, so it does have a hub. As you guys can see, there's a little QR code if you want to check it out. Nice little black box. The writing is rather hard to see because it is black on black, but not a big deal. Let's pop it open without trying to destroy the box too much, but we'll see. First, you got to pull off this little plastic. Then you have the user manual. User manual is pretty simple, straightforward, English. Tells you what's all in it. Um, three fans, one fan hub, one remote control, replacement strips, um, one strip removal tool, one mount, one set of mounting screws, and a sync PMW cable. Now, the mounting screws are 12 mounting screws. Um, you know. A little more about that goes in tells you how to remove the strip to change the strip um, the strip is gonna be your LEDs and stuff I'm pretty sure and color coordinated and stuff like that we probably will probably do a little video about it, how to change it but probably won't be much the control shows you how to use the controls turn on off set colors patterns stuff like that shows you the fan hub how it connects with the Aurora 3 pin I do have an Aurora 3-pin motherboard, I believe, so we should be good there. It has the 4-pin um, PMW cable. That will connect to your fan header to control the fans. And then you have your SATA power, if you guys do it that way. You know, extra RGB strips, so if you do RGB strips, or your fans. Talks a little bit more about what we just went through, about the CFMs and all that stuff. Then uh, we are going to pull this out. This is our little packet of stuff. Inside is a foam mounting pad. This is going to be double stick. This will be to connect the thing to the side of your uh, case. Right here is our strips. I will show you guys these real quick. There are several strips, several types. We have sparkly, we have gray, we have white. You know, just a few different colors. Like I said, we probably will not even touch these. I don't want to really mess with a lot of the fan before testing it. So we'll probably just leave this the way it is and then do another video pulling the fan out and turn it apart. If you guys know me, I like to give the fan a chance before destroying something. So that is the strips. You have several colors and sets. And here is our, you know, the 4-pin, 3-pin Aurora connector, um, double linked. We have the 12 screws. Uh, I'm not sure why they give us 12 when there's three fans. I'll, well, I guess four, four each, but uh, here is the removal tool. It's pretty much just a pry tool, the same thing you would use for like tearing apart your Xbox controllers and stuff like that, or fixing your phones. All right, the next little piece, I'm gonna set those aside. This is the remote. We'll just rip the plastic off. It is a nice black remote. Power, lighting, you know, lock. You can lock it, you know, stuff like that. Pull, remember to pull this little tab out or it will never work. Next is the hub. You have the GIM logo. It's, you know, little arrows. Um, this may light up. 
I'm not really sure if it does not. Well, peel porn for you guys who likes that. On the side, you have one, two, three, four, five headers. This is your four pin header. Here is one, two, three, four, five. Five more fan headers. So you have 10 fan headers or RGB strips. This is going to be like I was telling you about the uh, Aurora plug, which is going to be this. So we take the, see if it's this one, I believe. Then you connect your Aurora color to your motherboard, and then you connect your four pin, five pin, four pin, right? Yeah, four pin to the fan header. Um, that's if you want to use your Aurora sync on your uh, motherboard. I don't know if I have an open space or a splitter, so we'll probably have to pass on that and just use this as a PMW style, which means you just connect it right here with a SATA PMW and it's play. Next are the fans. You have three fans. They are white, like I said, white with a black LED strip around the side. So if you don't want those strips, you change it. Those strips are gonna light up. I like them. You have a nice little, you know, length of uh, cable. So you do have, you know, a little length. So remember wherever you put your case in, or your fans in your case, make sure there's enough length to make it to the header. So wherever you put your header, make sure it will reach these plugs. On the back, it shows you now the one thing I do not see that most fans have is a directional flow chart. This fan does not have an arrow pointing. So usually, uh, it's surprising this doesn't have a fan, doesn't have arrow showing. It does have rubber vise feet for your fan screws, which is kind of cool. Um, really questionable of how these screws will match up to the fans. So we'll figure that out. So if you're trying to mount long ways, those screws aren't gonna be long enough, so you're gonna have to mount short ways. But remember a fan flows directional. Um, I'm gonna actually try and grab a case out here and we'll try and plug it in and just show you guys this without it being inserted in a case. So if you guys give me a second, Okay, now that you see them plugged in, you see them sitting in front of the case. I did not install them. We're just plugged in. You have a little bit of light so you guys can see the three fans. Now, the next thing you're going to see is I'm going to shut the lights off. We're going to power this computer up. And you guys can see the fans running now. Now, we are going to just go to solid orange, red. I like solid red. That's kind of my thing. That's probably what it will be. I know you guys can see the ones up above. Those are different fans. This is just my test PC. So we're gonna hit that again. You guys can see we can actually lower the color, brighten it, change the pattern, several patterns, which is pretty cool. Change it again. We shut the light off if you don't want light back on I'm not really sure what that one does we have several modes like different patterns change it again now that's kind of cool I like that we'll flop through them real quick back to red um, you know pure white that white is bright if, if that's a, like the thing you want you can dim it down just white well white is pretty bright and I like it so let's go back to mode through another couple more modes
So that is the GIM 3-pack. Fans, um, we will leave the link in the description for you guys if you guys need this. Uh, if not, hey. So next I will actually have these mounted up in my computer. Um, you know, you can actually touch these if you need to. So, not a big deal. But we're going to install these and you guys will see them in my computer running. And I thank you for checking out this video and keep your eyes off for more and have a great day.